How's it? Celery. Music fine, too soft. That should be fine now. I think that should be fine, eh? Awesome. Alright. So like we discussed earlier, is I'm gonna rework a few things. Make everything a bit more simple. Not as complicated. You can chat in the Discord if you want to. <coughs> More the merrier. Hello. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> can you hear me? my discord freaking out hello oh, okay it's working okay great yeah i just had to mute the stream so i was getting double <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's up my dude and my dude everything is 100 everything's well there in cape town yeah 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 be in nice. Pretoria. very hot very dry uh, we had some rain this morning, so I had to go over the bike off of the car to work. And then halfway through the day, it got very hot again, so... <laughs> oh, do you normally go with a bike? Yeah, no, just to skip traffic. Uh, it's traffic, like, uh, Somerset West, please. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Traffic's like a 10-minute bike commute, and with the car, it's 15 minutes. <laughs> Here in Pretoria, when it's like uh, peak traffic, you take an hour and 10k, it's easy. Oh, no, that's horrible. Easy, easy, yeah. That's right. I used to work 12 kilometers from home, and if I left between four and five, it would take me over an hour to get home. Jeez. Oh, okay. there goes your tank of petrol. Yeah, I could imagine. No, it's very annoying. I remember when I was living in Bloberg, it was about a 19 kilometer commuter class, and that also took like a hour. Hour 19. plus 19, not 90. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was like, yeah, nine, that sounds right for 19. <laughs> 19 yeah, that's right. Uh, Autobahn, <laughs> yeah. Mm, right. do, do you have one there? No, no, <laughs> just joking. Uh, I thought maybe some, something, something. Cape Town has everything nice. <laughs> um, you're gonna do NMM now. I wanna. Get this skin start with this um, second skin done because I think I'm just wasting a lot of time with it, doing uh -huh. making it way too complicated. So what I think I'm gonna do? Job check I zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful dude. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I was looking for other arm <clears throat> for the camera. But the only ones they have is a 11 inch one and that's about 28 centimeters and so not even a ruler length but uh, it's not that expensive it's like 500 but yeah i don't know if it's worth it to be honest well, this is working fine yeah it's fine everything's out of my way i can swing and go crazy without bumping into anything yep but yeah um, have you tried to lower the brightness on the, the camera a little bit? I know it's a bit hard with the lighting, but maybe... This you, one? On, yeah, like on the... Yes, yes, the one that's filming the model. Yeah. Um, if you reduce the brightness a little bit on that one. It's... I'm wondering if that might... Because I think... Um, oh, 
that sort of too much. Okay, wait, let me just put it on my proper screen. Uh, I would go a little bit more. One more. I think you got it. That's one more. There up. we go. Yeah, that's that's nice. All yeah, because right. now I can now I can see the eyebrows and everything on the model as well. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's better. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Check it, my dude. So yeah. That's beautiful. What I think I want to do. Jealous. I'm gonna <laughs> jealous. Don't be jealous, my friend. <laughs> Don't be jealous. If I could have all my friends stream, I would want that. Soon, soon, soon. Soon, soon. Yeah. It looks like uh, it looks like my work is picking up a bit. So. Okay, oh, that's great. Might might still happen this year. Would okay. be nice. Yeah, you can get uh, um, a decent DSLR for like two and a half. So yeah. And so I might look into that and then get like a hundred mil lens. Yeah. Um, for it, yeah. Yeah, because with the hundred mil, you can just have it fully zoomed out and the aperture full open, and you don't have to worry about that auto fo or the focus with being out of, like keep on like say my hands in focus, but the background's blurry. Exactly. Yeah, with the with the webcam, it's a bit difficult because I I, I literally have to put it between me and the model. Yeah. Oh, to make it work. Bit of pain. Alright, so what I'm thinking, instead of doing my peanut way of things, uh, you must tell me if I'm on the right track because you're pulling off that green very nicely, just with three colors. So, what I want to do is keep the abyssal blue. Uh, so the abyssal blue is just going to be a nice brush uh, dry dry <laughs> dry dry <laughs> so it's a very dark blue yeah almost almost uh, yeah it's very very dark and then just have that is my main dark color okay. and then just brighten it up with the gray so, so basically so one over 50 50 mix of this with for my mid-tone and if okay. i want anything dark i use this and anything lighter i go from there so what i've done with the green right mm -hmm. um i had the 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 base color which was the darkest one right yeah and then from that one, I mixed a mid-tone between that one and the lightest highlight that I had. Mm. Right, so I had those three colors on my palette. And I didn't mix anything in between. So what I would do is I would start from the highlight. Mm. And then I would I would um, paint the highlight and I would make the highlight quite thick, right? Mm. And then I would take from the mid-tone. But the mid-tone is between a glaze and a layer consistency. And then just and work that. While it's, yes, while it's wet, I would just work that onto the thick mm. uh the, the the layer consistency highlight that i have yeah down and while that mid layer is still wet i would take my darkest color and then go into that into so i would like quickly blend that together and the way i did that was i would just do the the highlight i would lick the paint off the brush mm. for the mid lick the paint off go for the dark lick the paint off and then you can repeat that process while the paint is still wet over and over until it's smooth yeah um, so that's basically what i did because if you do it like that with the when it's still wet you don't need to mix like five different mm. uh, variants because it kind of happens naturally yeah i think my biggest problem is usually i over complicate things and then it takes a lot of effort to get the blends out or blend smooth as where with the tiger soldier i had three or four colors less colors yeah yeah, yeah you just blend it yeah it's yeah so i think i'm rather gonna do that and then i'm just gonna have my smaller palette i can maybe have it on camera the whole time it would also help a little bit 
I know a lot of the big painters always also say, you know, if, if you're painting something and you want to give it definition and you want it to actually look Fun. real or nice, yeah. at least three colors. Yeah. Three colors is fine. Uh, I and think. You don't even need more than that. Yeah, uh, because I think my issue is I try to get everything smooth with stages, but at the same time, I'm working with five different paints with different opacities and everything, so it just gets a little bit hard to keep track of everything yeah so if you're working with paints with different opacities yeah and you do wet blending it doesn't matter yeah no. because all you need to do then is change the consistency of your higher opaque paints make that uh, uh, uh thin that more than the other ones and then you shop yeah no, i agree with that i just have to cut a piece of parchment yeah so that's kind of what i've tried now um i know I think I remember it because I know miniature them paints like that. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, I'm really trying to practice it because it's also fast. Yeah, I I watched this a part of his stream when he was painting that abyssal model, when he was doing the blue, oh, yes. um, metallic work. On the back, yeah. Yeah, and it's also very like, not a lot of fussing about, very instant like result wise. Yeah, because I've, I've tried the stippling with the purple, right? Yeah. And with, with that, I, I, I told myself I'm going to go really slow, so I mixed like six different purples. Yeah. But, yo, it's, yeah. Still a ball, it's, like. I, I felt like that wasn't as smooth as the wet blend that I got. Yeah. Um, but I think it's also because I'm using green. Yeah, I think, yeah. The, I find... With a little bit of touching up of the skin I did on Dwarf, as soon as you introduce like a cream color or something, that opacity throws everything out, like the white ish of the pigment. Yeah. You get that very, you almost have to over dilute it, that it's not so stark, I want to say. Yes, yes. All right. No, I was contemplating of doing using some of the airbrush, but I still want to rather try and figure out something to cover my screen without getting <laughs> paint everywhere. And I don't want to sit here with spirits and clean my screen with that. <laughs> Is the work um, at the office getting a bit? Less strenuous yet? Or not? Uh, yeah, it's getting less um, demanding. The beginning of the week was very get this out, get that out, look at this. But yeah, it's getting better. Yeah, the wet, small wet palette works a lot better for this. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's getting better. Tomorrow is Friday, so I won't complain about that. Maybe want to put the music a little bit softer. A bit loud in my ears. Let's do that and then boost it again on the OBS. I'll put the stream on now so I can tell you. The music sharing subs. Alright, that's good. So I have to find a spot to put this little thing. <laughs> hey, that was the first one. <laughs> Wanna become famous. Oh, nice. <laughs> you must make me a mod, then I can sort that even, for you. I don't know where to... <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Let's check. Wanna yeah. become famous? Let's check if I can ban this. Yeah, I'll ban it like forever. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Ban. There we go. Oh. 
my brother had his first annual to prepare out today, so that was quite exciting from sure. his ads. That's nice. Yeah, no, he's very happy. That's good. Alright. So, what I'm thinking. See, now this is nice, man. I don't have to sit and wonder by myself. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the, the music changes it a lot. I can yeah. control that space. Yeah, it gets a bit weird when you constantly trying to fill the air <laughs> with this random exactly. talk. But once once people start watching the stream and you'll you'll see like with both my brothers as well, they have like a dedicated ten people that's always there. Yeah. Um uh, once you find that groove, even if it's like five people or what yeah and i also thought like easier. i yeah i would be over the moon with just five people <laughs> just so. yeah because they also talk to each other and they ask you questions yeah and whatnot like and you can ask them questions so that then it's a bit easier to fill the space you know yeah that was silly now oh my brother asked me i must let him know you're on uh, my brother's ether by the way oh is he ether ah. <laughs> I guess he, he loves he loves my painting and every now and again he would come see what I do. He's very uh, fascinated about it. So. I was like, who's this oak? <laughs> <laughs> I think he also like the, some of the people that were there were some of his friends. Okay. He was like, come check this shit. Well then, they watched a very boring stream because I didn't do much. <laughs> <laughs> I have a <laughs> massive pile of paint to work with, that's fine. I sent, um, I sent Richard a screenshot of the stream and I said, come join me. He's like, cooking dinner. <laughs> cooking dinner. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to be like, it's okay, he's here till night. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <clears throat> that model he's painting is starting to look nice. Yeah, I know. He brought it with to the class on Sunday yeah. as well. Uh, it's very nice. Is and it a 75? Yeah, it's a nice size. It's not that very enclosed like model. So okay. it's a nice wide stance. Nothing like over bulky or anything like that. So oh, I really nice. like that model. Let's get so some. are you under the miniature painting tab? Let me see. Yeah. Good, because I know like uh, I was on Big Deno's thing, right? Mm. And then uh, Flixer posted a link and he said, yeah, all of the people basically just follow this link. They okay. mark it and then when they raid, they just look at this and then they, um, they go, hey, there you are. Okay, I can see you. Sure. That's just painting. I was wondering if there's a way to make um, your webcam brighter. Oh, is it too dark? It oh. looks very dark. Like for, for instance, if I look at the thumbnail, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, the table looks fine, but I can hardly, I can't, I couldn't even really see that you had a webcam, it was so dark. That's one thing I've noticed, is like, uh, lighting is a, is a big thing for appeal. Yeah, I, uh, I thought it was too bright. That's an easy fix there. Nice. And it's oh, someone too... is uh, streaming World of Warcraft under miniature art. <laughs> that better? Okay. Not too bright? Yes, that's, that's perfect, yeah. Alright, so I'll keep it on. Seven. It's yeah, easy to do because I was keeping it on my exposure eight. <laughs> so now let's pull this out. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. We need to get you a nice border, dude. If you need, if you want to set up your 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 stream and everything, mm -hmm. um, I can ask my brother and he can because he's at home most of the time. Okay. Um, and then you can chat with him on Discord. He can even make you borders and things, I'm sure. So you can uh, find and well, transitions and whatever. Anytime. If, you, if you're looking at, uh, to do that, because yeah, that's what he does. And he, he and he does it for YouTubers and things as well. So. Okay. Well, obviously. Pay a man. Guys, yeah, he's, he's very good with it. I don't know if you've ever. You probably haven't seen his stream, but yeah, he's um, very good. No, I'm trying to think. I maybe popped in once because you told me about him and then you mm -hmm. sent me a link. But yeah, not after that. It looks like you're painting or also on your wet palette. 
<laughs> so, how I did that? PTSD. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just get nice and thick brush. Now I don't have a place to swap my brush. Yeah, so that was kind of my approach. I went from the highlight down. Oh, you went the other way. Let's try yeah. that. I went from the highlight down because if you go from the um, darkest col color up, yeah. when you clean your brush, the darker color, the, those pigments are much heavier yeah. than, the, than, the, than the light ones. So by the time you get to your lightest highlight, you're, you're mixing your dark color in it. Yeah, then you're fighting that. the colors. Oh, you got some, some uh, lamium. No, it's not a contrast. Yeah, oh, do okay. I want to use this? Might as well. <laughs> I was thinking yesterday was I get a lot more smoother blends with the contrast medium, so I might as well. Yes. I also use a little bit of the lamium for the um, for the blending I did today. Yeah. But then I resorted to water because I, I started working quick, mm. and um, I would just I got a hair dryer, so I'm not just like, and then I carry on. Yeah. But um, I would usually just use the air dryer once I'm happy with the entire blend. So I would go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. Until I feel like it's smooth. Like it won't be smooth the first time. And always drag the brush um, to the darkest place that you, you want to go. Um, and then you can also do like a, a swirly motion, like a back and forth, like a S. Mm-hmm to really get it uh, but i usually clean the brush before i do that to yeah. get all the paint off and then to blend the two together yeah no i was actually surprised at it because i was struggling so long with it yeah uh, it's um, it's funny it's usually the most simplest way of doing it is like the most efficient yeah and you wonder why am i wasting my time with like trying to do the final steps in the beginning stage type of thing <laughs> yeah might have to add a little bit of a lighter color in here But yeah, that's kind of blending itself, eh? I can see now. Yeah. It, it you just have to go over it again and yeah. again, and again. Work from uh, from from light to dark, light to dark, light to dark until you're happy. But like a, a thing that I did a lot of the time was I extended my highlight too far every time. Uh, yeah. I'm like, okay, I have to go through it again because my highlight is too. Uh, the width of the highlight was too big. Yeah. Got a bit of headache, so. Yeah, no, no. Just trying to prevent it from turning into a migraine. Sometimes I hate myself. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> when you do the simpler version Look for at that, five dude. minutes, 
and it looks way better. Look at that, dude. And then you just want to kick yourself because you've been that, wasted. That's pretty smooth, eh? Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty smooth. <laughs> See, this is when I get pissed. Because <laughs> I try to overcomplicate things and then it's like, nah, just do it like you would have if you explained a new person painting. Because you won't explain a newbie like, nah, do you like this crazy stipple and all of that jazz. Just mix all your colors and go step for step. Yeah, it's looking good, dude. That, that's blended really well. Now I'm interested to see. I might actually get far now. I fucking hate myself. Because <laughs> now I could probably finish the rest of it in like 20 minutes. Yeah. And get rid of that gloss <laughs> with the with this stuff. Have you tried it before? No. <laughs> I still haven't gotten to a point where I'm like, <laughs> okay, let's try this out. So you're gonna uh, are you gonna thin it down with some airbrush thinner as well? Yeah. I, uh, well, airbrush thinner gives that little bit of a as a sheen to it as well. Oh, okay. So I think I might just water it a bit down with like a drop of um, water. But it's very fluid compared to the army painter one. So yeah, it's more of a fluid. Yeah, army painter is probably like twenty percent more sticky. I'd say Viscous. viscosity. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay. that's looking good. Now I can just fix that little dark over dark spot. To be honest, I think I might just actually do what Phoenix did with like a nice shadow line yes. to emphasize the the dark part. They did some really good shadows on that bust Oof, of Dude, I'm so glad for me that they also got like a 93 on Pantheon paint for that. Oh yeah, steady. Yeah, I know you did very well for that. 93? Yeah. Well deserved because I think I really like that model and that he did such an awesome job in it as well. See, Chana, now you must just get your webcam and stuff and you can like a uh, paint stream at the same time, eh? Yeah, man. See, now I think this is where you can just take a blob, mix up a nice glaze and then where you want to transition your shadows a bit more that's the thing once you've done like your your wet blend you can always glaze to give it more definition yeah. make things darker or whatever. I think I'm happy with that for now. I also like that your highlight is um, being spread out more as it goes to the bottom. Oh yeah, that because room. more piece. light would hit it, yeah. Hmm. Oh, we've got an extra viewer. <laughs> Hello. Let's see. Twitch details. Uh, looks like Twitch is watching us. <laughs> is that another bot? Ah, uh, no, I don't know. Okay. So, <laughs> I've got nothing to be scared of. I don't use foul language. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, let's go back to brightest highlight. Smooth this. Out. Yeah, like a, a, an area like that, I think the medium will help a lot. No, yeah, just for that a big area. Just moving everything a little bit more out. Because I don't know if the Lardium medium does it as well, but if you take the same consistency you had with water, the Lardium medium covers a lot better. Do you know what I what I found with the Lamium, dude? Like, you know when when you've painted a layer mm -hmm. and it's almost not dry enough and you go over it again, 
and it kind of scrapes the bottom layer off a bit. Yeah. I feel like the Lamium does that. Okay. From from the get go. Um. So I yeah yeah. I, I like to put water with it because otherwise it does that and it's very not paint like that. Yeah. Okay, let's just do the one side. And even if it dries, you can do it in sections, like break it up in two quarters or... Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna think it a lot darker. I'm just sorting some chair. No worries. That did. <laughs> Got it, love it. Got to love it. Wow, oh, those pieces have to sort out. <coughs> oh, I don't know what look, contrast medium does to a person's insides, but. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a GW contrast medium. No. Ha! <laughs> 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 Highly toxic! <laughs> okay. Yo, is GW contrast medium? Why do you think it's the first suggestion Google gives me? Is it edible? Or what? Radioactive. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a stretch. Um, trying to just check for you quick and I find that the Lamia medium if I put it on my paints I need to use that paint in like two minutes otherwise it becomes oh, goopy strange yeah but is it more of a matte finish or is it a semi gloss uh, yeah it's matte it's it's, yeah. it's not like glossy at all Um, yeah, surprisingly there's no information about whether it's edible or not. Maybe on the bottle itself. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> Where did I put this little pot now? Hey. Ah, there it is. Uh, no, nothing. Oh well. Alright, so I'm not going to be daft and try to wet blend that as well. I think I'm just going to smooth it out with glazes. I think you'll be safe, eh? We will find out. <laughs> so, maybe this stone. I need new Windsors, dude. Yeah, the other one. You had from the beginning, eh? I still have that. Look, the the that's one thing about the brush. It it keeps the point really well, even if it's old. And yeah. I can see like it's used. Um, I don't know. There's just something about their bristles that's just different. Um, wonder if they have in stock actually. Let's see. They do have. Uh, <laughs> Why 
do you think a uh, uh, size one costs? Four hundred. Three forty. Three forty. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Hectic. Uh, uh, they have a miniature series, but I don't like that because the bristles are too short. Yeah. Uh, a size two is four hundred and forty, so it's about a hundred rand difference between the sizes. Okay. Yeah. But I can tell. But man, oh man, it's nice brushes. Yeah, I still want to give them a go around. Chop. Check it, maybe. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it your birthday, like just now? Uh, Sunday. But Sunday. I already, I already bought myself a present. <laughs> <laughs> Camera. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait for my birthday as well, but you see, now I'm in the boat. Do I get a camera or do I get an Ebra? Give it back. Take my vape away. Did you steal your vape? Oh. <laughs> That's um. Yeah, I don't know. It's. I really want if... an airbrush. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it, I, I've used, no, I don't know. If you want to paint like some people do, I think you'll yeah, obviously go for it. Um, I try, so depending on, because I've been looking too much at the Arden Steambeck Evolution. Oh, uh, yeah. Just because I can maybe try to do one now now where I just work on the one panel with smoothing some stuff out with the airbrush. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, I would probably use it on like metallics with inks and stuff. Yeah, like super thin stuff, but then you don't need an expensive airbrush. Yeah. Small case of my my hat yet. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this. Everyone's painting Warhammer. Sure. Warhammer. Warhammer. No, it's just a complimentating to to a Warhammer mini. It's like eh, no. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to paint something I can enjoy. Alright, let's do this other side. Easy blends, my dude. Easy blends. Easy blends. So, let's take some of that. I just wish I could show easier. Oh, yeah, I'll just do that. I will See? try to. <laughs> I will try to do a get an extra camera. Let's put the. Um, I think actually like the the Red Dragon, the 720p camera. Yeah. It will work fine. Yeah. No, I don't want something silly. But then, if you get another camera, you need another tripod, and you know the list goes on. Yeah, I was thinking if I have my palette in front of me, I can just have my other webcam off on my monitor pointing down, so I don't need an extra chart for then. Yeah, tape the webcam to your forehead. <laughs> Some tape. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I actually wonder how a GoPro would fare with filming and stuff. Uh, I was also wondering, my girlfriend's boss has a GoPro. I'm very tempted to ask him to lend it to me that I can actually see because uh, you can surely you can um, you can crop and scale up because that thing is 4k yeah that's a uh, would be interesting might have to put way... the the way the light reflects off of the, the wet paint actually yeah, it's a bit looks like no but i mean like that actually looks like 
a good place to put two focal highlights with it, just like why. <laughs> if I can capture this, hang on, Let's see if I can capture it when it happens again, because it actually looked really good. Keep the model on. Easy blends, my bro. Easy blends. And then we can just glaze the darker color in there. Another thing as well as thinking about my getting the other arm for the camera. I don't think I actually really block my my painting where the camera is now. No, not at all. It's actually it's perfect, man. Uh, uh, are you comfortable? Yeah, no, no, it's I can actually move stuff forward and sit more comfortable. I'm just so used to sitting on the edge. Yeah. It's a bit of a oof. Let's see if I can just fix that. See, Alon painted a, what is this, is this a goblin? Didn't he paint a... Oh, it's an elf. Elf, yeah, it's an it's elf. Probably not have my drinking water next to my <laughs> <laughs> cup water. Check on the Discord. <laughs> Say clearly stated in the thing. Post your work without critiques and criticism. Oh, rip. So. Okay, Albert. Are you off? I'm gonna no, I'm gonna send you a picture in Discord. Okay. If you look at the way the natural light falls on it, right? No. Um, I think that would actually make a lot of sense to do those spot highlights. Um, it looks really, really good. Oh, on the model, I thought you were talking yes. about the, about the okay. weight palette. That I have to fix. Let me see. Sure. Save image, please. What do you think? I think I'm gonna pull it up on the. Like my proneness face. 
Tja. It looks good, eh? Yeah. Uh, so I think I might. Okay, I see now there's like that. Somewhere in that range. And those highlights. Where, the, where the natural light would fall, yeah. <clears throat> so I mean, I... it's still. It, it doesn't look like metallic. Mm. It just Even looks like it's, it's got there. a nice sheen on it, yeah. Exactly, yeah. It kind of makes it look like a rubbery surface. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you for the eye. No, just have to fix this rubbish I'm doing here. <laughs> Anything I've realized with the contrast medium, you don't realize how much you actually use. Uh, it goes down quickly. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember when I spoke uh, when I spoke to Dave Cowell, he said he goes through bucket loads of the stuff. <laughs> Uh, Durant says we're too soft. Too soft? I believe he's our second viewer on Twitch. Too soft? How can we be too soft? <laughs> Must put it louder. Oh, your brother, I thought it said Durant says. <laughs> yeah, it was Durant. Oh, but this is also on. <laughs> Where is Durant spying on us? Uh, I think he's probably watching on the Discord then. Oh no, no, it's only me and you. I think it probably means we're too soft on the channel. Yeah, no, it means we're, we're too soft on the Discord for painting stuff. But um, like I said, I, I don't critique other people's work live. That does it mean like replying to things? Yeah, we're too soft for critique or stuff. But yeah, definitely not gonna do that. You can critique away, but I'm not gonna do that. That channel says it's for no, no critiquing, right? Yeah, I believe so. It's okay. been a while. It's been a while. Uh, he says he can't see the stream. Um, and let me see if I can share it. Hello. Oh. Ah, there we go. How's it around? Okay, I sent him I sent him the link. You need to make me a mod. <laughs> <laughs> How do I actually do that? I have no idea. I can change. Uh, uh, not time out. <laughs> I think add as friend. I think if I add you as a friend, I might get some more options. Once you're streaming and the person who you want as a moderator is in your uh, chat room, direct your attention to the stream chat. In the chat, type out the command slash mod space username. Okay. We'll do that slash now. mod space username, I think. Yes. It's the one thing I love about when you do wet planes. And you just want to fix a few things. You don't have to go over complicated, just like a nick and scratch here. Just to smooth some things out. Yeah, that thing's very shiny. Yeah, no, it's looking good. So what do I have to do? Oh, okay, so you're gonna go uh, slash. Let me type something. Hi, hi. 
Okay, so you're gonna say slash mod space and then just my username. Slash mod space. Yes. Chio. Check on it. There we go. Mad lad. Beautiful. Is Duran still not finding the. Um, I sent it to him, I'm just checking what he's saying. Uh, yes, he's here. Oh, space bug. Now I know who space bug is. He's also my brother. I, th <laughs> <laughs> my I thought you were right. <laughs> okay. Sorry, space bug. Um... Yeah, Ethan, Ethan and Spacebug is looking for us. Which one's the married one? <laughs> can... uh, Spacebug. Alright. I'll keep that in mind, then I can um, take a Duran. few jabs. <laughs> Duran will also drop us a look. Hey, there's Duran. Yeah, he says he's got to go into a meeting, so he'll, uh, he'll drop us a look. There we go. Alright. No What's worries. Up, Duran? Duran's gonna tell all these people in the meeting this guy is painting shit. He's <laughs> laughing at the guy. <laughs> Alright. So I think I'm just gonna keep on going and then when everything is pretty much 80% then I'll smooth everything out. More. Oh, it's looking good though. Like, that blend's coming along nicely. <clears throat> Because, you know, like I said, with the wet blends, it's literally just like a tap the end there, then just to merge some of the um, some of the blends. So there it was a bit of stock. I don't have to go all the way around. I can just touch the end there, then it should smooth itself out. Yeah, I'll fix that inside place piece later with glazes. Now I still wanna put that other thing on that I can have like say if I put on the screen, like yeah, somewhere like the lo latest like last follower stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can see it on my OBS, the Twitch Labs thing. I can see that. Like I said, dude, um, if if you want assistance or whatever, I can just ask Ether, sure. and then he can sit with you uh, for like a, a little bit of time whenever. Oh, um, Ether, just to sort I'm that out. a man willing to pay for your services. <laughs> as long I as it's not a... in a dark alley. Uh, <laughs> I also think he's in a meeting, so I think he's lurking. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely have a chat with him. Um, uh, what is it with you and you, Joburg people, with your late Joburg meeting? People. Well, okay, Pretoria. I'm from <laughs> Western Cape. Anything <laughs> other side of the mountain is Joburg. I actually have a friend I play Dota with, and he he always pisses us off because he's always like, "Yeah, you Joburg people." <laughs> It's like, yeah, but it's most Joburg. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it took me like a while. Like, my girlfriend's from Pumalanga, but she went to Middleburg High School. And I was like, what is that like in Joburg? <laughs> it's like, no. Very far. <laughs> no, it's not in Joburg. I'm like, oh, okay. Man, you inspired me just to like take two colors. Exactly, dude. Sometimes just keep it simple. Oh, be keep it simple for the simple painter. So, <laughs> where's my pipette? Because I don't want to wreck my brush dipping it in the end also. Yeah, I also don't do that. I also use my pipette, but I find like my pipette always takes too much out. <laughs> I need like one of those glass droppers. Yeah. 
and then it like gets hard in the front of of the pipette and then you have to snip the piece off <laughs> yes that happened with mine i was like what the hell is happening yeah the joys <laughs> i think it's time for dre dre i think what you sent me is it come on there you go I think I want to do that. Where's this? Flip clockwise. There we go. Let's see. Because I think that would push the contrast quite nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think I should rather just have like a color I want to work with. And then I think it's going to be my highest contrast color. But then it gets to like this like 90 percent and then just like stipple in like uh, ivory or something yes just to get that pop i mean you can even Sorry. i don't know how reflective you want to make the rubber but you can even blaze on the inside of the arm a little bit of red for the armor yeah i think i'm gonna reflection. maybe when you're almost done with the piece or mm. Yeah, no, I think, especially like in that area there, on the inside, because that the highlights is gonna jump down that piece here, mm -hmm. and then just have like a little reflection dot as well, and then just like a slight red glaze over it. So that's the plan then. I hope this music is DMCA free because I got like a 12 hour long <laughs> YouTube video playing in the background. There you go. Okay, enough faffing about. So I'm making you list for streamer. You are, yes. <laughs> Let's... I've got all these tools as a moderator. I'm like in moderator view. It's quite insane. Sure. I'll show you what it looks like just now. Hey, Duran is a champion. <laughs> Following me. Let's get this highlight nice and wide for now. And I can work it back. Yeah, I wanted to kick myself because I was like, I didn't paint yesterday, but like the whole time I'm like, why am I faffing around with the water when I know I get a lot more smoother blends with contrast medium? It's getting tight. Get you a lurk command. A lurk command? Yeah, where someone can go um, exclamation mark lurk and then it's like it shows you that they're lurking. Okay. Um, then you can also see the lurking viewers on the stream. Um, pretty cool. Active mods 1. Activity feed 5. Oh. No, this is like. A... Sure. <laughs> I really have to move that thing now now because I can't. It's in the top corner. There and I can't see it the whole time unless I like move the red bullet. Oh uh, yeah, because it's white. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe just give it like a black outlining. I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, just so it pops. Ah, oh, these blends are getting there nicely, Albert. Nice, nice. Let's go one step back. Pull this, blend it a little bit more. Uh, 
More metal on that. I'm afraid to happy with the way the camera is because I don't really feel like I have to over concentrate that I'm on the right spot the whole time. Uh oh. Can go a bit darker. Sorry, my cookie's going savage. Be right back. <laughs> no problem. would do here instead of trying to blend into the other direction I think I'm just gonna glaze in the darker color no, I just took um I just spoke to my brother Ooh. he says um you must start thinking about um how you want your borders and your things to look he said he's he said he's keen to um to sit with you and show you how it's done. Mm. Oh no, I'll definitely have a look around on this other people's stream and see what's already taken and think of something a bit more original. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you you're glazing the darker shadows now? Yeah, I wasn't gonna try to do um to blend it with the layering. In the uh, if you yes, quickie toys, uh, uh, Kirby got a new toy, so <laughs> he's super uh, short. Yeah, he's going mad with that at the moment. Um, and uh, you know, he's so fast with this, I can't even move my mic. No, that's chill, it's part of the stream. I'll get a cool kit you make. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually think Twitch comes with like a uh, standard corgi emote. Is I think it? One of them, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, Let's let me see if I can find that. There we go. That's called Corgi Derp. <laughs> there we go. They are derpy. <laughs> I'm happy with that for now. Ah, oh, it's looking good. Not my dear. Let's clean off my brush. And make like a nice... I should change my timer for when the chat goes away on screen as well. So yeah, maybe I have it uh, on there for a shorter amount of time. I don't know, I was actually meaning for longer. Because if you... Whatever works, eh? I'm going to make a super diluted mix of that just a pure grey. Instead of going to try and layer in again, I'm just going to stipple it in to get nice and tight. Are you going to focus there? You might. There we go. That's insane. Beautiful. Uh, so that little belt, right? Is that a leather strap, or what do you <laughs> think it is? Your yeah, guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I actually think if it's if it's leather, it might be nice to add a different component to the model. But on the other hand, it's also like 
everything else is so uniform. Yeah. Like if there's like something like that, it might distract. So you might have to make it very like um, desaturated Sub yeah, in a sub sense. Subdued. Oh, I think it would actually be nice because then it just it brings something else to the model as well. Yeah. Stippling it down. So Nocturna released another model today. Oh man. Let's see if I can find it. Shame. It's incredible. Show me the damage. Man, Ben Comets is going crazy with the base on that. Um, the bat goblin bat figure. thing. Yes. That man is a mad lad. <laughs> he's also quite a slow painter. Yeah, but he he's, he's one of the guys who believes the airbrush does not belong in this hobby. Oh, he's yeah, art. he paints with this, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his all brush. <laughs> he's the loaded brush guy. Yeah. Fun story, actually, when I was watching one of his tutorials. Yeah. Um, he said that he didn't even know about the technique. Oh, he just, and like, then, tried it. I, he, he, like, stumbled across it because uh, he was he was impatient or something. <laughs> and then he was like, holy crap, this actually works nicely. <laughs> so that was very interesting. Man, let me see if I can find this model. Should not get my melon in the way. <laughs> the sculpt uh, uh, of this model is so good. Like the detail in the fabrics is insane. Um, I'm going to post it in your chat for you. Oh, good, Marie. Have a look there. Let me see. Should actually exercise with doing this. Let's see if I can do this. Add source. What is this? Uh, display capture? No, not display capture. What is it? They've got um, they've got the concept art as well on the um, on their page. It's pretty sick. They've got that um, uh, aether chick. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, wait, can I do this? But it looks like it's in c uh, collaboration with a bunch of mini companies. Uh, Aradia, Chimera, Nocturna. Hey, Ether. <laughs> trying to figure this thing out. <laughs> well, Ether, you must check um, how his uh, black leather blends are going today. It's looking sick. Okay, my idea was not working, so let's remove that. Oh, that's, oh, it's like a reversed one this time of like the dwarf killing the orc and now it's the orc. Ah, oh, that's very cool because you don't see that a lot. That's nice, eh? Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice twist on it for a change. So yeah, for everybody joining, I decided not to be a peanut and paint everything super <laughs> smooth, oh well, slow smooth. So that's more of how she's looking now in that sense. Yeah. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pull out the airbrush and just mat this down just to see how this I looks. I wanna see that now. Uh, I wanna see how that uh, varnish okay. works. So let's see. Before and see the after. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna use. Ultra matte lucky varnish, kindly sent from celery. Oh, sent by celery, not from celery. <laughs> they have like they have like thirty bottles in stock, so if it works well. Yeah, I might as well just buy more then. Yeah, 
Uh, I did ask the guy. He said um, uh, it's for the airbrush. You shouldn't really brush it on. No. Um. I still want to get some of that black farmer uh, from scale of the brush on when Richard gets more in stock. Yeah, no, it's very nice. Um, let's... So use that and then just cheap dollar ink with it. Okay, let's see if I can actually get some. Uh, I would say no, the paint paint wouldn't expire because there's some from the worst known paint brand that doesn't do a lot of good marketing. <laughs> I don't want to name names. But yeah, there's one brand that is very known for their crappy paint pots and stuff. So all their paints are basically in a container like this. So you get like a massive lot of drying paint around the lid and then it's not sealed and then the paint dries inside. But even some of their paints, which is from like the 80s, some people still buy on eBay and it still works. As long as it's sealed, yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it will keep really well, but um, when you have a container or, or you forget your lid open or whatever and it stands on on, on, on the shelf for months, then it will go, yeah. go off. Um, it actually becomes moldy. Exciting times, eh? The exciting times. So you're just mixing that with a little bit of water. Yeah. Okay, oh, this is very dilute. I don't even think it was necessary for. Are oh, you gonna try it on something else first? Nah. Just straight on the model. YOLO. <laughs> it's a well-known product, so I don't. I don't think. Yeah, it's... I don't think. I don't think it will be like speckles or anything. Okay, oh, this is very thin. Just kidding. Everything away. So I'm not using any thing from the paint cup. I'm just blowing it with air because it's very thin, which is nice actually. again yeah because I think I think one of the, the, the biggest deterrents for me to use multiple brands at the moment is the different finishes you get yeah yeah so I think I believe if you have something like that then you can quickly just go over to unify everything yeah and then look at the model and actually see um, how everything looks, you know. Yeah, uh, I so agree with that. So I'm not gonna over. Oh, that is actually um, <laughs> quite taken back by this stuff. Because I still got like a lot left in the cup, which I can't use now, and I can't leave in it in the cup because I was gonna sit with a very stubborn needle. Showing Duran some of Dave Colwell's work. Yeah. So what I also usually do if I know I'm not gonna over clean my 
airbrush at the moment. I'll just spray some water through it. And then I'll switch off my compressor. And if I'm scared the needle might get stuck, let's loosen the chuck, pull the needle out a little bit. So if you see there, there's the end of the needle. So that's all the way in. So I just pull it back a little bit. If you want to be very safe, you can just pull out the needle. And leave it like that for now. Because I would probably use it again now now. And then put your extra bits somewhere where it can't get lost. It's like one of those, like, how do you know you're South African with say, without saying you're South African? <laughs> now, now. Now, now. <laughs> I'm gonna do it now, now. So, yeah, I'm actually quite. It's not super mad now because I only went over it. But dude. as long as it's unified, and it's yeah. just mad, dude. Come on, you silly camera. I think there it might go. struggle to focus because it's trying to catch your palette in the background. There's a too much going on in the back. There we Good go. Good point. Yes. That's very mad. Yeah, that's very mad. <laughs> so now the problem with everything being super mad is <laughs> shows all the mistakes, which isn't bad, because now it's actually nice just to glaze everything out. So the one thing you can do, which I might show but i don't really want to because i don't want to fiddle around with the airbrush too much but if you wanted to you can so take a 50 50 mix of this and thin it down a lot and then just glaze that over everything and that would get rid of most of the blends like the messy parts so I think we can actually just might as well do it. Let's not be boring. <laughs> and <he> rejoices. <laughs> what is it with you in the you f your family going so early to bed. Um, people go to sleep, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Keep on forgetting, it's only Thursday. Not that one. Alright. So, I'm gonna take some of this mix, which is just a bit of flow improver and water. a lot of it and then I have to remake my little hook thing I had for my airbrush cat here everywhere so I'm just gonna take where's my crappy brush I'm gonna make that nice and wet Reactivate some of this panky in the middle. Just my mid tape. Yeah. Grab some of that. Put it in the cup. Grab more. So that's now the mid tone. Yeah, so this is very, very dilute. It's. Yeah basically nothing going on there <laughs> like what you... so yeah, that's basically what it is it's very very dilute where's my glove Yeah, there's basically no coverage. And then what we do is just little 
spritz urine there. I don't know what the correct. Can I ask? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the correct word is for it. It's literally just allowing a little bit of paint to come out. Oh, uh, all good. Well, one of the benefits of the crappy airbrush I have is that even now I'm not pulling back on the trigger, there's still a little bit of fluid sometimes or paint coming out at the front. So I don't have to be really concerned about my trigger control. Because that crappy airbrush does some of the precision work for me. And the only way I found that out is trying to do precision work and realizing that's not going to happen because you can't do precision work with something Yo, that is getting smooth yeah <laughs> I'm just explaining to the guys the, the situation of the crappy airbrush is even though I'm not pulling back on the trigger the tolerances in the front isn't that tight so even though I'm just pressing down there's still a it little bit, out. but it's that perfect balance of just pressing down and going up and down and you get the right amount of paint out for the low blending you want. So it's actually working in your favor. Yeah, so it's actually working <laughs> in my favor. Strangely enough, but yeah. How, how do you feel about the, the, the Eclipse airbrush? Uh, I would not be able to say, obviously, as you know, but yeah, I think for second-hand parts in South Africa, I think you're going to get more support with Iwata products than Harder and Steenbeck. Yeah, mm, yeah, as South Africans, we know we don't want to buy something we can't get space for, because, yeah, else we're going to wait a while to get anything and that is how you smooth everything out being lazy that looks good <laughs> and to give an example of how much paint you actually use that's still everything left in the cup A wild go Yeah, I'll take the thing away, man. Jeez, maybe. Maybe. And now, don't yell at me. <laughs> so, yeah, if you wanted to smooth it more out, um, obviously, if you keep on going on with this mix over that, you're gonna get everything back to the mid tone, which you don't want. You're gonna cancel out all the work. Yeah. Done. So if you want to be a bit braver and just work on the highlighted parts, you can take more of your highlight color and then add that into the pot. And I can see that's much more of that gray. More of the higher tone. Yeah. Because for me, I I find that if you want to shade something down, it's much easier to glaze it with a brush down because it doesn't take a lot of effort just to reintroduce some shadows than to oh, is transparent. to try and to take the airbrush and do something with a very strong color mm -hmm.
Look at that. Mm, get a very smooth. The only thing I'm still finding is I'm always too scared to push to the highlight color a lot more. So I tend to lose my contrast a little bit. Cash, I need to run because Daniel's home from Joburg. Oh, good. Is it not Pretoria? Is this actually Joburg? Yeah, she she was in Joburg with because her parents are there. Okay. Um, she's back now. Oh, all right. Uh, where will you be streaming again? What's today? Uh, Friday's tomorrow. So, uh, probably from after work. So, say half past six till late because yeah okay i got no girlfriends working my time sweet man so then i'll check you so, yeah. all right keep well all right cheers robert cheers cheers <laughs> look Might be a bit braver. I mean, let's take more of the highlight color. Is one of the brothers still on who plays Tarkov? Tarkov. Because, yeah, I've not been playing this wipe at all, unfortunately. And I'm kicking myself off. Not that I missed anything, but yeah, at this point, it's way too late to try and jump on. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. I'm gonna add more of this. No mix. And then get more of this gray. Now we're getting more of a. Alright, so I'm not the only one. Now, the last previous wrap, I only got to level. What's it? 34 something, so not far at all. And this wrap, I have not. I don't even think I'm. <laughs> yeah, I think. If you're not a full time Tarkov streamer, then you got no reason really to grind constantly. Because yeah, everybody I think also just gets a little bit overshadowed from the other guys, but that's part of the Twitch game I assume. I don't think I'm better than <laughs> Definitely not. I haven't been playing games a lot at all since lockdown. I've been mean, just taking it as let me improve something I can actually hold in my hands. So I've been painting a lot more than anything else. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, this paint is a little bit thick in the pot. Okay, I think I would really jump on it when they get streets on, because I think that's one of the bigger patches everybody's waiting for, and then the other half is probably waiting for VoIP. Which I'm fine with either way. If I don't want to hear people, I can just switch it off. Yeah, I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah, no, I agree. Especially with some of the extracts and stuff. It's good luck finding a friendly scav to try and help you out to get by some random extract. And I have this super expensive, um, what do you call it, Ardendorf special, <laughs> the 400 Rand one, which I've been using. This is still the first one I bought last year, the other spare one, <laughs> the other spare one I have I lent to Richard and that's the one he's currently still using as well. Yeah, definitely not for precision work, but if you thin down your paints enough, you might get away with some stuff. Let's get try and get this stupid angle. Right. Yeah, I think I totally agree with you on that one. Um, it's definitely not the best airbrush, but you can do a whole lot of stuff with it um so yeah i completely agree with that where did the fuck did i put my other cup <laughs> <laughs> leaving that gap <laughs> yeah pretty much it's not as rough sketchy as what he does i'm not that brave um uh, my color theory and all that other stuff is far away from how good his stuff is let's zoom out that everybody can see what i'm doing but yeah now i think like i told hungry earlier as well um i don't think i want to get a um hardened steenbeck evolution from infinity games because my other boss lives in the uk and he might come down sometime soon when everything chills down a little bit so i maybe want to get that for me but on the other hand is how much better is a obviously there's going to be a quality difference in everything between a 400 rand airbrush and a 4500 rand airbrush and this is assuming that they don't ask my boss, is this not imported? <laughs> and it's obviously going to be tax on top of that. So, yeah. For what I want to use it for and what other people that actually know what they're doing can do with it. I don't know. It would be nice to have, but I think 
there's a big difference between a a airbrush quality airbrush and a a paintbrush quality uh, now I think uh, to be honest if you if your style um, complements the use of the airbrush I think go for it but if it doesn't really and you try to be super neat and everything and you're a very methodical painter I don't think an expensive airbrush is going to be the the best thing for you because you're going to find that you're going to struggle and try to do things with the airbrush that you can't achieve with it if you take what somebody like what's the other dude's name <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I would have done the same thing. Um, what's his name? Alberto Montefont. Um, the guy who painted the um, troll goblin thingy with a sword in his hand, which was super crazy smooth. Now, that dude only paints with a brush and yeah, paints two models a year. So. Yeah, if if you want to paint super smooth like like, like he does, you're probably going to only be able to achieve it with a brush. But if you want something nice, high contrasty with not too much smoothing, I think a cheap airbrush is more than enough for that. It's a Titan 22, but yeah, now I would still love to. I know Vainant has a infinity um what's it Hardenstein back infinity plus that red and nickel plated one which is even more expensive so i would really want to just put my hands on the thing and have like an hour with that airbrush but in saying that i don't think anybody with a Almost six grand airbrush is gonna be very happy f to lend you the thing <laughs> and see what you can do with it. But yeah. And focus. So now, all I want to do really is bring in my shadows so that the whiter or highlighted parts pops a little bit more so my camera wants to stay focused on what I'm painting so zoom a little bit out so will you focus with me there you go um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is just take my darkest color, which is that, and it's there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that, mix it with the contrast medium, and go from there. Gonna take a little bit of that, put it next to that, grab some of the contrast medium, and this I want extremely, extremely, extremely thin. Because what I want to do is literally just work in those shadows
All right. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And yeah, enjoy your Friday, and then I'll see you tomorrow night again. And how it's looking a little bit weird we've got that glass back that's fine do now is just give it a coat of the ultra matte and then we will pick up tomorrow again so I'm feeling a bit more happy about how that dark wetsuit leather business is looking. So this time I'm not going to add any flow improver because this stuff is very runny as it is that's all I'm basically gonna need I think Give it a little bit here. Let us see. Yeah. 
Where Chelsea is looking now? So very early. <laughs> I do. I think I, I'm enjoying this pace much more. And you're already trying to keep up with the better painters with more experience. Just do everything at my own pace. And take it just day by day. So, really enjoying this. What I might do tomorrow is take my ivory. Where's my ivory? I don't know where my ivory is. Where is this color? Okay, oh, I am losing it. Anyway, I'm going to take a lighter color of this. If you want to focus, please focus. There you go. Of this. And then just stipple it. And where I want more of a highlight. And then just smooth it out a little bit more with the gray. And then it should be popping. Good job. So even though I've been using the airbrush very haphazardly, uh, rough, and use big words, you can see there's not much overspray, and especially with this early stages, the spots that has overspray is going to be mostly the darker parts on the red armor. So I'm not too concerned about that. And if I really want to, I can just pad it off and go to town with the glazes, which I might actually just do. Because then I don't have to worry about it. And showcase a little bit of a product that I use a lot. So, that is where we are now. So, I want to thank you all for joining me. Watching my bad painting and slow painting compared to everybody else <laughs> but yeah. um, so yeah, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow from 6 o'clock South African time I don't know what that is in the time zone thing but yeah I'll be streaming probably from that time till late so probably till 10 or half past 9 so I'll be doing that. So, yeah. If anybody wants to join me, more than welcome. Happy to have you here. Um, yeah, so then we can maybe do a little bit of a showcase for the other people as well. So, if you've got any work in progress or finished paint jobs, I'll be more than happy to share it for everyone on here. I won't critique it. I've not won any competitions in my entire life. So I um, would be more than happy just to look at it, give compliments and show it to everybody else. And I think that's what we all enjoy is just sharing our work. So let's keep that up. So yeah, right, thanks again for joining me and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. So keep well, be safe. And enjoy your Friday then. <laughs> Alright, cheers guys.